Hello and welcome everyone. Whew. I kind of ran to the room here going, it's after two, like one whole minute. Anyway, I'm Sandy, Blowing in Sand, independent demonstrator, uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And in my video today, we're going to do an unboxing of goodies that just arrived this morning. And we're going to play with some of those new products and make a card. I say we get started right away because, oh, just because, <laughs> just because. Now, I'm just checking my, just checking my computer. So give me a moment, make sure everything's working and that we're in frame. Chug a lug, chug a lug. I don't see my video. Where are you hiding video? Oh, wouldn't that be weird if I went live in the wrong spot? <laughs> Let's try that again. I don't see myself. Hmm, I know you're watching. Where's my video? Weird. Very, very weird. I'm on the wrong page. Oh my gosh, that's why. Never you mind. Sandy's being a bit of a doorknob today. That wouldn't be the first time. Alrighty. I was over on, I, I went over to my Lolly and Sand page, no, group, to say, hey, I'm going live, and then totally, um, you know, miss that part. Okay, there we are. A little crooked. Fix that. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. I can even see my hand moving. All righty. Okay. Oh. Hi, Janice. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Rosemary. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And um, I just want to say that um, a big thank you to everyone that participated in my BOGO. It's kind of still going, like I took it off of one spot, um, but it is still going. So let's unbox some things. Are we excited? I think we are. Okay, I opened the box. I have to tell you this. I opened the box and said whatever stamp set's on top, that's the one we're using today. So I do have one open. Oh, hi, Deb. Welcome. We're doing an unboxing. So first thing up. I was intrigued by this basket of blooms. One, because I did get this punch. Um, through celebration, so it's still available and it's photopolymer. I like when they're clear red rubber is fine, too, but clear works, too um, I love this little basket here and then this this vase 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 this little pot then I love things that I can make into greenery You know and then oh another flower. Oh and a little bow That's cute. I wonder if that goes there. I can just put it wherever I want I suppose anyway, that's kind of pretty Okay. Oh, I don't want to put anything on my project for today. Let me move that off to the side. There we go. Okay, next. And I don't know if these are bundles yet because I haven't looked at them. This one's heavy. This one, I love textures, which we know because, you know, you've, um, you've been with me for a while. So I just thought this looked very interesting um, to add texture to the back backgrounds of cards. And they're, they're so different, too. And again, that intrigued me. So, yeehaw. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We're going to have lots of new things to be watching. And for me to figure out what am I going to do on Friday, this video. We Okay, I couldn't resist. Zany zebras. Aww. I could not resist. I just thought they're so cute. You party animal. Well, that sounds like, well, not me, but hello. Oh, hi, Lisa. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Man, this video is not. And we're still crooked, are we? Can't tell. Can't tell. Alrighty, so yeah, I had to have this one. I just see, oh look, they've even made, you know how sometimes you take your blends and you make the little shadow underneath to look, you know, make it look like it's not floating in the air? Well, look, they gave us a little shadow and a little party hat. Oh, that's cute. Yes, I am wild about you. Kick up your heels. Oh, well, that's so, everything's so going to topple over. Okay, this one, Queen Anne's Lace. Another flower that reminds me of my grandmother. So I thought, this and, um, what's the other one? Oh, Lily of the Valley. Totally reminds me of my grandmother. So I thought, it looked really pretty and intriguing. And the fact that I saw a card, which I think was done on Purple Posy, maybe? Maybe. And they did this in white embossing, and it was stunning. And I love the fonts that they've used here. And this is us, all of us, right? All of us in this pandemic. I know you have the strength to get through this. 
We do. We do. Okay. Ah, neutrals. Okay, so you remember the, the paper? I'm looking for my scissors. Here they are. And I'm kind of weird. I have to open it by the top. Always have to open things by the top for my paper. And I am very inky because, boy, when I realized I, well, one, when I realized this box, the box was um, delivered. Now, if you're, oh, by the way, then I had to get, I had to get moving. Um, how did I get my order so fast? I expedited it, which does cost an arm and a leg, but when you're doing videos, it's worth it. So remember this paper with the dots? I love neutrals. Ooh, I like that. And I love polka dots. We've established that. I think that's pretty too. So these are the neutrals. And I'm sorry if this goes really fast. And the wood grain, of course. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's Mary Merlot. Probably gray granite, mossy meadow. Hmm. Crumb cake. Oh, I almost lost my train of thought there. Basic gray and early espresso. Let's see what that looks like in the wood. Ooh, nice. Ooh, and the polka dots. That to me is very groovy, you know? Yeah, I said it. Groovy. I was a little kid during the 60s, but that's fine. I still get to, um, what else we got here? I still get to be from the 60s. Ah, these looked really cool. Let me just take them out of here. And I'm sorry, for unboxings, I never liked the sound of that, you know, the opening of the packages but they just look so pretty. So these are the elegant faceted gems, which I think go with the prized peony set, I think. But they're really pretty and they don't have a high profile, which was one of my concerns that it would make the card like, you know, too bumpy. Not like I don't pop things up, you know, but it just, they look so pretty. Maybe we'll leave those out and use them on today's card. Ooh, yeah, okay. Good idea, but don't toss the packaging. That's how we keep things together. Keep your packaging. Okay, another big noise. Okay, and I knew, sorry about that. I knew I wanted this one because again, I had seen it done. So in the catalog, it didn't look like much. It's called Dainty Diamonds 3D Embossing Folder. And does that one go with the purple or the, po the prized peonies too? I think so. Do I have a piece of, of course I have a piece of paper. If I'd had time, I would have embossed one and shown you how absolutely gorgeous that is. And you know how much embossing folders, one, I love them, and how much embossing folders bring to cards. Okay, oh, we have a couple ink pads. We, I actually have all of them, and I'm using the other three in the cards today. So this is Just Jade and Magenta Madness. So I, I'm looking forward to getting inky with, well, I love this, but inky with this one. Did you see how vibrant is it? Oh, I can't wait. Hey, Lisa, welcome. We're doing an unboxing today. Okay, I was intrigued by these, too. So these are the square vellum doilies. Remember, remember how we've had the, um, the um, round ones? Well, I'll call them round. Hey, Claire, welcome. So here they are. And I am looking forward to two things. Well, three things. One, using them on a card, duh. <laughs> two, coloring them. And three, using them as a, um, a stencil. That sounds like fun. Oh, angry. I didn't even see the angry face. Lisa, <laughs> that's okay. I'd be given an angry face over the noises, like the crinkly noises that I'm making. But that's okay. We, you can make up to it. For, with a with a couple of happy faces. How's that? I'm kidding. All right. You know what I say. Get your re-inkers right away. And hmm, I don't see the others. I better check that to see where my other ones are. I did order all five, but I haven't had a chance to go through. So you order the ink pad, order the re-inkers. They're not. They're very, they're very full of ink. That's not a problem, but you want to make sure that you have them if you use your one of your favorite colors the most 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 all right this one i thought would look fantastic the thing that got me do i have my catalog handy oh i do it's under something i'll show you i will show you let's just dump all the stuff i put on it okay loyal leaves mm -hmm, mm -hmm, quickly page 32 
my poor catalog, the cover, 32. I think I showed you this. Actually, I think I did. Hey, Sandy, welcome. Okay, I did show you this when I was doing my catalog walkthrough. This is what sold me. Knowing that I could, I could do like darker and lighter, that means I'm probably going to use my, yeah, I have one handy, my sponge daubers and sponge the darker color after I've inked up in the, the one color. So ink it up in, in this case, pumpkin pie, and then use terracotta tile with your um, sponge dauber to make the center darker. And I think it just gives them so much life. Oh, I was just going to say, I think this one's pretty peacock. And then I looked, it is pretty peacock. Yeah. All right. Let's hope we don't need that again. Anyway, I just thought these were really, really cool and so detailed. So I am looking forward to, uh, is this one distinctive? I think it was distinctive. I, I, this, this might be my Friday. I don't know that I can like not use it right away. Okay. Well, a couple of things that you have to get, you know, tumble just in case mine runs out. And this was in, this carried forward from the holiday catalog, the crinkled white seam binding. I've used so much that I needed to get a little bit more. And I wanted to get the Just Jade Stampin' Blends combo. And I, well, you can only get them as a combo now, but I wanted to see that because I think I will get these right away. I can only put so much on my order, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, Lisa? That that's, I have to go back through the catalog because I saw a sample and someone said, I love this set. And I'm like, I didn't even notice that set. Okay. So this one, let's just get it open. I have some paper. Um, I decided, oh, I think I just ordered it twice. Yep. I think I just ordered it again today. Oops. That's what happens when you don't remember what you've purchased. So this is Playful Pets, which I thought. Now, I don't have the rest of it yet. Well, now that I have two things of paper, I just thought this was so cute. There's a couple of dogs missing from here. I see there's no pugs. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no um, uh, Shelties. Mm -hmm. And, well, my daughter's... My daughter's she has the sh a Sheltie and another dog that I forget what he is now. No, I don't. Mini miniature Australian Shepherd means he's a big dog. Anyway, look at the faces on these little guys. How cute is that? And I know this is from the dies. Well, if I show it up there, you can see it better. So this will actually cut right out of here. Or you can fussy cut these two. That's nothing. Um, but yeah, really cool. I'll do the second side. I'll do the other side last. Oh, love the faces. Love that. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And these kind of remind me of Disney. I'm not sure if that's the right... Disney? Cartoons? Yeah, Disney. Okay, and you can't forget the cats, of course. So, and the little ball of wood. Look at the eyes on that one, the big anime eyes. That's from a... Yeah, I know, no pug. How dare they? Well, I will put that... Rosemary, I will put that in the sandbox saying, you forgot the pugs. <laughs> anyway, the cute eyes and, of course, the licking of the paws. That is just adorable. And, of course, the little ball of wool string. Wool. So we get, oh, I think I'm going to, I almost took two too many. Okay, and then look at this one. I think there, I think this is dye for this one, if anyone can look to correct me. Oh, uh, you have a Sheltie, too? Where's the, aren't they the most adorable and cuddly? Yeah. Oh, and yeah, Claire, I agree. This paper is so cute. So, so cute. This one, he's he's going to pounce. Big stretch. Look at that grumpy cat. Hey, grumpy cat. I don't think it's the actual grumpy cat because, you know, copyright and all that. Now, this is cute. And here, pick up two at the same time, Sandy. Alrighty. So here we go. So the little paws and the dish collar and a bone like super cute and I love that they used a bright color this is how I picture them on cards you know like that all right oh and then the, for the cat oh a little cat toy and a little fishy a little mouse I think that's a mouse yep paw feather oh, food of course cute and that one that almost looks like flirty flamingo I will have to check the colors that should be 
this is what I love that they put the colors here. Oh, real red, flirty flamingo. It is. All right, so let's flip this over and look at the back. So this one says, <clears throat> it's kind of tiny. What's that one say? The little, oh, Sandy says that little sand and cream guy could get turned into kind of a shell. Oh, I'll have to check that out. We'll have to check that out. Alrighty. So it says, uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> start here. Jump, love, meow, purr, snooze, yawn. And then we start all over again. That's their, that's the day of a cat. I think it's a day of a cat, a dog too. Now this I like for sure. So this one says, dig, chase, scratch, wag, play, love, bark, woof. And then it starts over again. Yeah, there's a lot of play. A lot of play. This is really cute with the little hearts on it and the little fishies. Another, there we go. You know, if you were being whimsical, this would kind of make a, um, a cute uh, fishing card for a man. Like a really cute, even Valentine's, you know. Here you go, Mr. Fisherman. Okay, now this one I'm a little unsure of. It's like cat hair, dog hair. We can all, we can all relate to that. Oh good, there is a die for the cat. I thought so. Thank you. It's always good to have a demonstrator helping me out there. There we go. Anyway, iffy on that one. This one, a door, the little hearts and paws. Aww. And my daughter, although she's on mat leave right now, she does work at a vet's office. Like, how cute would that be? Cute. She's a veterinary technician, to answer that. Now, don't move this one, Sandy, because stripes always go wonky. Okay, so it's, I think it's like a real red and white. I think it's real red. And they're not, I'll turn it a little bit. I can't tell from the camera if it's like darker than lighter because I kind of like when they do that. Anyway, that's the paper. And guess what, my friends? That's the end of the box. But we're not done yet because here's what we're using today. <sighs> I've talked too much. I almost need a drink of water. Here we go. Okay, so here's the punch, which is part of the Lovely You bundle. And... I'm not usually one for these little, like, I, you know, me, pew, I like big images, but I, I love, I love the font. I love the words. Love is what makes us a family. Aww. Miles apart, but still in my heart. How timely is that? And you have to know that this was designed long before the pandemic, long before. And I just think it's really pretty. It's always nice when somebody writes nicer than me and I can just stamp that on a card. I'm kidding. I write on cards. So we're going to use a bunch of these and, and we are, of course we're using the punch. So keep that handy. And then we're using some of the color. So let's bring everything in and somebody forgot scrap paper again. Okay. Uh, it's very, that's very distracting. Whoops. That just fell on the, yeah, just toss it aside. Okay. It's not really scrap, but it will do. Okay, so we're starting with a piece of Whisper White. Boy, that's a hard color to put underneath. So we're starting with a piece of Whisper White, which is four by five and a quarter. And now I have this cut out. What was the second? This cut out for a reason. I'm actually going to move that away so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I know that my sentiment's going to go somewhere around here. And the flowers that you see on here, I want to go up, above, and below. So, little trick. If I can find where I put the pencil, which was here a second ago. Oh my goodness. Seriously, it was here a second ago. Oh, of course I went, you don't need that and put it back. Okay, I'm not really centering this, but I'm, I'm going to do it this way just so it's easier for me to see. Very lightly. Okay, I can see the line. This is just to tell me, stamp outside here. And, hold on, so I'm going to cover up that line just a little bit, and then do this again, Whoop. just a little bit. It doesn't matter that it's not even, because you're not seeing the lines anyway, hopefully, after the card's made. Hopefully you're not seeing the lines, but that's just a guide for me. All right, so we are going to ink up in, oh yes, Bumblebee, and I have, I made, I was, although I was, you know, running behind, I hate to admit that, but I was running behind. Oopsie, don't fall down. 
Um, I still had time to quickly try and put something together so I could see what it would look like. Alrighty, so that's, we're also using Misty Moonlight. Of course, we're going to use Cinnamon Cider. And then I thought I'd throw in some extra colors. So we will get to those. Let's just start stamping, shall we? All right, now this one, if you get a lid, see, oh, okay. At first, this side would open and this side was stuck. So I actually had to stick my finger in there, but the, I've opened it and closed it a bunch and it's fine. So if you get one, uh, a stamp pad that's acting like that, don't you worry. Okay, oh, found the pencil I couldn't find. It was right beside me, typical. Okay, so there's my line. And I'm not really, if I had a sample, I have no idea where I put it. The pieces that is, it might go with this. This is an interesting color because it's not super bright. And I do like it. So there's the line there. So I know what's going to show out of here and there. Now I did see, I was inspired. Okay, I don't want to go over this line. So we have our little scramp here. Scramp? We have our little scrap here. So I'm gonna put that on the line a little bit over and just to make sure that I don't, just in case. Oh, oh, that was a crappy one. We may have to do this again. Oh, see if I can get that. Oh, that's yuck. Sorry. This is what happens when you don't leave your stamp down long enough. Let's use the pencil I did find. Let's just do that real quick again. I messed up a few this morning because I didn't, uh, and when I say this morning, I was ready at four minutes to uh, one. Yeah, and then had to still run. Okay, so when you're stamping, hold your stamp down. Don't do what Sandy just did, okay? Don't do what Sandy just did. Okay, so what I was starting to say was, um, I was on the demonstrator planning place, and as demonstrators, we can go in and look at that um, and see beautiful samples by demonstrators all over the world and I was inspired by a card um, made by um, I don't know what's on there it's bugging me all right well we will continue I may have I used a cloth don't use cloths when you're cleaning your stamps don't don't do what I just did um, anyway and she's I believe Kayla's in New Zealand now her card was all bright colors but I went, yeah, I like that kind of line across. So we're going to go with that. Okay, so now the, oh, I didn't put the tag on, the Misty Moonlight. And again, hold your stamps down. Where are we going with these? I don't know. Just over the line a bit, which means I can go further down here and have more of that showing, which is kind of cool. And I think I will do a little cutoff one. So I'm kind of reserving the... Um, some space because I might go back in and uh, do some more. So that didn't stamp weird. That was me stamping off the page. So now the cinnamon cider and I will get my labels in. And as a reminder on the back here, here you go. Here's your cinnamon cider where it says it. And if you store them flat like this, put the one with the words right here. And then in here, put this I don't know if you can see them. I know you're all familiar with these by now. There we go. There it is. Put this plain one. Well, it's right there. Put that in this slot here. Okay. That way you're less likely to do what I've already christened one of mine today, putting uh, the wrong color. I actually put, it's not the end of the world though. I put um, bumblebee into cinnamon cider. Had it been the other way around, wouldn't be so great. You know? Now this does have a top and a bottom. This is, that's really stamped crappy, but you can see what that looks like. And what I decided to do was not stamp it full strength. So stamp it off and let's go. I don't want them all going the same direction. To me, that is like so boring, but I will put one here. I like it stamped off because to me, I wanted the main colors to be these two here. Okay. And why? Don't know. Just felt like it. And it's really pretty. I don't know, like, it's just such a pretty color of lighter cinnamon cider. Alrighty, so let's maybe go here. 
oh, I think I just put my finger, oh, I didn't. And we'll make, just in case, another one right here. Now, as you're going along, and I don't know which color I'm using, you go like this and you can kind of see how you're building it. There was a purpose to having this, plus I'm gonna, I'm going to punch this too. So what do you think so far? I know, stamping on the fly, nah. <laughs> not necessarily my thing. But, but you know what, I'm up for the challenge, I am. I may put, I'm gonna reserve this one too, because I'm gonna bring in some other colors that you're gonna go, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? All right, so, well, Daffodil Delight, that's okay. And for this, I'm just going to, we're gonna go, let me just see. Yeah, I wanted it half strength as well. So we'll stamp there and then, so a little peak there and a little peak here. And I definitely have space to fill in there. So I'm gonna put a little peak right there as well. May add more. The reason I'm actually, okay, I closed the first three is because, yeah, because, because I, you know, tend to double link. So this is um, Blushing Bride. This is a really pretty little stamp. Like, check this out. Like, how cute is that? That and these two colors I saw in the catalog um, with the uh, lovely U bundle. And by the way, speaking of bundles, this is Get a Free Bundle Month. And you're like, what? I can get a free bundle? You can get a free bundle of any price in the catalog, whether it be um, like this one, which is a stamp and punch bundle or stamp and die bundle, you can get that. It's when you join Stampin' Up and hopefully my team while you're at it. And uh, let's do a little one right here, just a little bit showing and do another little check. Cute. I'm When I look at it, it's like, so, where am I going to go with this? Someone did their line crooked. But, um, yeah, you sign up and you get a free bundle of any price. And I think the most expensive one is around $80. That's like $80 free. Hello. Yes. Okay. I feel like I am missing one. I'm like, I know there's one more. This one's cute, too. So, I'm gray granite. And you're like, why would you use that? I don't know. <laughs> I felt like it. Okay. So, this little guy... If I get it going the right direction, nope. This little guy apparently goes this way. There we go. And are we using that fuller half? I think we're gonna use that half as well. And let's just have that just above the line. Now with little stamps like this, take your time because, oh crap, of course it worked. Because if you don't, sometimes you don't get a full image. That's, that's where that was going. Anyway, so $135 for the starter kit gets you, you get to choose $165 in free product, 165, yeah. And there's no shipping in most provinces. Um, if you're from another province, I will check. And there's no, wait a second, there's no tax. I said it again wrong. There's no tax on the starter kit in most provinces and there's no shipping in any other provinces, no shipping charges and that saves a bundle. All right, I like these little dots. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get some of them in here. That's the wrong way. Just a couple little, little dots here and there, which I thought would be cute. And I forgot to stamp off, oh shock. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for a second and reassess what needs to be done. It appears to me that I want to put a little bit more of these in. There we go. So I will put the link afterwards um, one for shopping and two um i guess i can put my bogo there again uh two for um my blog and three if you want to join now when i did my samples i did the thing where i did them at the same height now these thankfully aren't and when you do that okay so i stamp and then i go let's let's stamp again using that that doesn't quite look it's it's not horrible but if you go like this and then like that, that's much prettier, visually to me. Alrighty. Oh, I, you know what, Janice? Janice says, I'm really pleased to see what these colors look like and how they work together. True. Um, yeah, you know what? I wasn't sure about, well, I knew I'd like Bumblebee because 
I did, but I, I love this one, the cinnamon cider. I thought I'm, I know I'm going to love the paper, but I'm going to love the ink. I do. So that worked out. Okay. So let's bring in our little paper again, because I'm going to go right there. So just a little sprig and it's okay that it doesn't go down to the line. Like don't beat yourself up about it. It's this is right beside my um, yellow. <laughs> it's on your list. Yep. And cinnamon cider, you know, rosemary, you know, with uh, with the the blue that I, I know you love the blue, the misty moonlight. Like, wow. You know, just plain old wow. Hmm. Thinking, 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 thinking. Hmm, I wonder. Oops. I wonder if I was going to do that upside down. So is that full? No. I had to check it. I wonder if I could just get a little kind of not horrible kind of over stamp but not the end of the world already the one thing I'm thinking and it's it's well I was thinking of using do I have it okay here's a card I'll show you I was thinking of using you know this one which is from the forever fern I'll show you this card after it's one that I made in like I'm serious like under five minutes I was thinking of using that because that might look very whimsical I know but it's not this set so I was like oh, but I want to use the set <laughs> I'd like to show you something where I just use one stamp set. So we're going to go off the page just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because flowers, you know, I like the, the garden. Well, everyone, well, if you know, if you've seen my garden, it's not. Um, nope, I don't see another. Well, maybe there. Nope. Maybe if you actually hit the paper. Well, let's do that another time. There we go. Okay, I'm going to stop. If I need to add anything, well, let's do it. Um, this time now get ready and get rid of a few things off to the side of myself because I could not and I mean this because I was running out of time I could not decide what color of base to use so this is where you come in and I also have layers so here we go okay so here's a layer and it could go directly onto the white. It could go onto the cinnamon cider. So there's our choices there. Let's just leave these out. Okay. Hang on two seconds while we think up the next one. So that stays there. Okay. We could go then this route on the, oh darn it, why can't I remember that name? On the Misty Moonlight. Oh, I was going to have that. Or yeah, thank you <laughs> for not talking about my garden or lack of or like this, but there's more options or we could just go plain. So while you think about that, I am going to also talk about this. This I'm going to cut. So you only see when I say cut, I mean using the punch. Um, so we have that choice. And now, see, so you know that with that and that, not sure of. That with that and that, not not bad. So first, let's pick a base. What do you think? And while you're thinking about it, I'll get ready with the... Okay, I have these in all three colors, but I didn't make a base of this color, I think because I ran out of time, maybe. Um, I am going to look at stamping the sentiment. Okay, so I know the comments are behind, so I'm just going to proceed... I am, I did decide that I was going to do the sentiment in Misty Moonlight. Er, there we go. Now I cut this rather thin, so hopefully, bring your scrap in, hopefully, I don't go over. I, I didn't exactly use the right um, acrylic block, but <laughs> love that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, and you know how much I don't like doing white on white. So let's get rid of that. We've done our sample, right? Okay, cross your fingers and toes. Let's see if I can get this a little closer to myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. Blue base, yellow strip. I'm good with that. All right. Now this is because I wouldn't normally do this, but these are, as you can see, they're brand new. I mean, they were opened, ooh, an hour and a bit ago. 
Okay. Either color looks nice. Oh, I like the blue background on Bumblebee. What else do we have? Uh-oh. Oh, darn. And the comments got past me. I think I saw blue base with this. I think that was correct. I think I saw that. That's pretty. And then either color. Yeah, I like that. Blue background on Bumblebee. And then Rosemary and Krista, your comment went past where I can view them on on uh, Facebook. So I just want to type that up real quick again. There's another one. Okay, so obviously, clearly white is out. And I'm kind of happy about that because I do a lot of white bases. Yep. Yep, I do. So this one could look like this. Not done, of course. Or it could look like this. Ooh, I like that. Throw in, to, to kind of tie it all together, I do like this. Okay. Everybody, get out of the way. And I do talk to my stuff like that. Y'all get going. There you go. Okay. So what I should have done was punch this first. So sometimes I get ahead of myself. So with this punch, your options, and I think we talked about this, your options are half an inch, three quarters of an inch, or an inch. So this piece is an inch. And it has to be because this piece is three quarters. All right, so get into the boat. There we go. Like it's right on the line. And right to the end. I like to make sure it's to the end, otherwise you're not going to get a good, a good snip. Now, how long am I? I'm going to have to erase those lines. I'll do that after the video, though. Let's just see. I haven't decided. Blue blaze, yellow, same with the ghost. Okay. You're all so sweet. And thank you. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. We're getting closer. I, I at least I smudge it. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> like that wouldn't be the first time that happened. And I don't know about where everyone else is, but I hear it's humid out. And no, I have not been outside. Other than to open up the door, the nice, the nice, uh, let's see, this would have been, was it UPS? It was Perlator. The nice man put the, the, my, the box right in between, make sure I'm using the one I was using, right in between the doors. So I actually didn't have to step out at all. Kind of like it being long. What's, there's my white space, right? My, my treasured white space. And let's just go, yes, I did. Let's cut that a little nicer. Boom. So for those of you who ordered from my uh, BOGO, just to let you know, I was able to get two orders in. I still have a few people that haven't paid yet. So I want to give them, you know, well, I can't send it in without the payment, so I have to wait. All right, let's do some gluing. I know that is not a good eraser. I know this pencil, I don't think that's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be, oh yeah, it's one of those horrible ones. I will erase that later. And I did notice, all right, so you know my trick of using the um, trimmer to help make the edges nice and neat. But I also, the missing pencil again, I, I also use just my fingernails to hold it and then just push it right up or the, yeah, fingernails. All right, so there's our base, beauty, and then these two. Ooh, oh no, that's the brand new glue. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pop something up. So we'll get there, we will. Alrighty, oh, that's one of my tests. That is total, wait a minute, did I just stamp that I did? Weird, I don't recognize it, this was me playing and I, I bounced the stamp again. When you're in a hurry, maybe don't be stamping. Because bounce stamps don't do you any favor. They don't. They really don't. Oh, I can feel the edges. I don't know if you can see that, but I can feel the edges sticking up here. So I know that's the side I don't want up. Oh, and I just did it again. I don't know. My poor little brain. So today when I had a ton of things to do, my body woke me up at 10.30 um, in the morning. 
uh, yesterday when I really needed to sleep, I woke up at 5 a.m. So I don't like that. Oh, let's just see. Janice says, it's beautiful up in Chesley. Have you laundry on the line? Oh, nice. Nice. You have, you have like lakes or... Um, I don't know how far you are from a beach. I'm, I'm not a huge beach person now that we don't have a cottage to, uh, after we sold my parents' cottage, but I did love being at the beach. Alrighty, so I do also want to check that I'm doing this the right direction. There we go. Oh, so crooked. Fixed. So that doesn't, that's kind of like, yeah, it's okay. So let's do some more. And I do believe I did. I don't know if it'll go or not, but I did leave a little bit. That side maybe. Or that side. I left a little bit for some ribbon or something. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't plan on going outside. I just, I can't handle the heat. So why fight it? And uh, you know, my sister's pool hasn't quite been made clear yet. And I know she would like it to be clear. And I haven't got the big okay from the boss, my daughter, um, because I've been avoiding everybody. Um, I've been able to see my grandson, but I don't know if that will jeopardize it. So I have to check with her to see how if she's okay with it. You know, it is what it is. Okay, so this again, and I believe we've used this, is the gingham ribbon. And this is in the cinnamon. No, it's not cinnamon. It's bumblebee. Let's just see what we can do here. A couple different ways of making bows. So I usually do this. Now, what I learned, I was watching um, uh, my upline. And although I write with my right hand, other things I do with my left hand, like scissors. I was left-handed as a child. Um, so I'm watching her making a bow and I'm like, oh, that looks so weird. It's like when I see scissors in someone's hand that's right-handed. I, I can't figure that out. So I realized I can't figure out how to use the bows when other people show me because, well, I think we've talked about this, but because they're backwards. So if you don't want to do bunny ears, you can still do it this way. Make a little loop over your thumb and then pull this little bit through. And let's see if we get what I want. Eat gads. We don't have the air conditioning on yet, and I think that's a huge mistake. <sighs> we have lots of fans going, but not with the door shut, and I forgot to bring the fan in because, you know, because I did. How would I like to do that? I don't know. That might be cute like that. Okay, decision. Decision. I know. Like, how long does it make take you to figure it out, Sandy? It depends on the day. And I suppose the heat. Okay, so what I was thinking is, what if... Oh, that's kind of cute, too. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on, and then I'll decide. Yes! Dimensionals. And somebody did not... I don't know what I did with them. I might have taken them downstairs. I had a, a team meeting last night and um, I may or may not have, don't remember, taken things down thinking I'd be able to do our little online make and take, but I just, I couldn't, didn't get to it. All right, so I'm not centering that. I'm just, I'm really not trying to center this in the center. If it ends up there, great. I am trying to make sure it's straight this way. Erp, looks crooked to my eyes. All right. So I was thinking I would just go that way for something different. Kind of like it. I cannot wait to play with the other items. Seriously. Super, super, super excited. Glue dots, that's what I'm looking for. Alrighty, And then just go right under there. And... Go right there. I don't even have my special glue eraser in here, so I can't erase those lines. So I'll do this. Whoa, check that out. Oh, you have the, let's see. Oh, Rosemary's going to her backyard. Oh, nice. Yes, once the shade comes. Um, and Janice, we have the Saugeen River flowing through town. About 30 minutes to Port Huron, and then about the same, oh, and sound, wait. 
my screen started going dark, but there's lots of lakes nearby. How nice is that? Like, wonderful. And thank you, Marcy. It's just, it's different for me. Yeah, pretend those are erased. Yeah, we'll hold it like that. Pretend those have been erased. And um, because they've taken so long, I think we're going to skip the inside of the card. But I will bring in the other card that I made just to show you that has nothing to do with this stamp set. But it shows you what you can do when you're, when one, you're in a bit of a hurry. So remember I had all these, um, I had these in all different colors because we made that card. Well, for our meeting last night, we do a virtual swap. And the virtual swap just means take a picture of a card you've made using new products and send it to um, to my upline because it was her meeting. So I, I was like, I don't know, quarter to seven. And we had till seven o'clock. We had like weeks, but I left it to last minute. Anyway, so I grabbed my, my um, mint macaron. No. Is that mint macaron? No, no, no. Soft sea foam. Good gracious. And then my forever fern this is pear pizzazz and went stamp stamp what am i gonna do stamp those little bits so strongest next and lightest and then if you don't recognize these you will in a second look it's these gold things but the gold was kind of taking over so then and this keeps going crooked on me so i just used a glue dot and put two there had this already done the little jar from the jar of flowers little bow Apparently my end isn't straight. This tiny little hello as well. And I think that's from Forever Fern. And done. And then at four minutes to seven, I sent it to her, to my upline. So it could go into the, into our meeting last night. So I'm like, how fun is that? And someone forgot to turn the sound off on her computer. Anyway, huh, I think I've talked enough. So there's today's card. When you see this on my blog, I will have those lines all erased. So no problem there. And I, I may put this one on too. I don't know. Thank you so much, ladies. Uh, here we might be getting some thunder boomers tomorrow. We'll find out, I guess. And um, I'm okay with the rain. <laughs> and um, anyway, I will see you Friday at 2 p.m. Please share my video. That would be awesome. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, please share. If you're not on YouTube and you want to go on to YouTube, you could be one of my subscribers and get me closer to that thousand that I need. I'm, uh, I think I'm only 600 and like 40, 640 away, let's say. But we'll get there. And like I said, I'll put the link to shop in a little bit. So thank you again, ladies. Stay cool. <laughs> Stay cool. And uh, we'll see you Friday. Okay. Bye bye.